good morning today let's study about anatomical snuff box anatomical snuff box is a fossa which is present on the lateral aspect and the posterior aspect of the hand so this is the fossa which may be used for sniffing uh, snuff or tobacco now let's see the boundaries of anatomical snuff box so before going into the boundaries of anatomical snuff box we need to know about three muscles which will form its boundaries so this is the long extensor you can see this this is the extensor pollicis longus the extensor pollicis longus this smaller muscle is the extensor pollicis brevis and this muscle is the abductor pollicis longus okay so abductor pollicis longus extensor pollicis brevis and extensor pollicis longus now let's see about the insertion of these three muscles the abductor pollicis longus will be inserted to the first metacarpal so this is a, so you can see all the three muscles are getting inserted into the bones of the thumb or the first metacarpal okay so the abductor pollicis longus is getting inserted into the base of the first metacarpal next the extensor pollicis brevis so this is the extensor pollicis brevis which gets inserted into the base of the proximal phalanx so we have only two phalanx here in the thumb so the, it is inserted to the base of the proximal phalanx now the extensor pollicis longus is getting inserted to the base of the distal phalanx okay now knowing the insertion and the muscles involved in the formation of anatomical snuff box now we learn the boundaries so this is the medial boundary and this is the lateral boundary okay so this is coming postero medially and this is coming postero laterally the medial boundary is formed by the extensor pollicis longus and the lateral boundary is formed by the extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus now we'll see using a model this is the anatomical snuff box so this space here is the anatomical snuff box we can see the medial boundary so this is the medial boundary which is formed by the extensor pollicis longus and these two are the lateral boundary these two are the tendons which forms the lateral boundary which is formed by the extensor extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus okay extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus okay now the base of this triangle the base of this fossa or the triangle is formed by the the lower end of the radius okay is formed by the lower end of the radius okay that is the stylar process mainly the stylar process okay then the apex is formed by the the two tendons which comes approximated to each other okay that is the extensor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis the floor structures okay the floor structures are formed by the carpal bones okay the two carpal bones which comes on the lateral aspect that is the scaphoid and the trapezium scaphoid and the trapezium and the contents next is the contents we can see these are the contents first is the radial artery what you are seeing here is the radial artery next we can see this is the superficial branch of radial nerve and this is cephalic vein so these three are the contents of this fossa okay the contents are the radial artery the cephalic vein and the superficial branch of radial nerve so covering all these contents the roof is formed by the skin okay the roof is formed by skin coming to the applied aspects of this fossa coming to its applied importance the scaphoid bone which is there on the floor is one of the commonly fractured carpal bone when someone falls on a outstretched hand okay so during the fracture of scaphoid bone we have to remember about the blood supply of the scaphoid bone where the supply is retrograde okay supply is retrograde the blood vessel will be entering through the distal part and the proximal part will be getting blood uh, through this distal attachment distal supply of the blood vessel so during the fracture of uh, uh, scaphoid bone the proximal part of the scaphoid bone can go devoid of blood supply and go in for avascular necrosis of scaphoid so this is about the anatomical snuff box thank you